existential therapy for me, Emmy van Dersen, is a philosophical therapy. A philosophical therapy in that the therapeutic relationship is a collaborative effort in dialogue where you and the person visiting you are trying to work out how this person has got caught up and snagged in life and how they will be able to unsnag themselves and understand much more about their life than they ever have. So it is a kind of educational project, more than a therapy. It is a way to enable a person to reflect on life, reflect on life deeply at a level that they never have reflected at before. It is to teach a person reflection, to teach a person how to engage rather than disengage from life. They learn to engage with the therapist, but they also learn to engage with themselves, with what matters to them, which is of real importance to them in their life and what they have been afraid of and run away from or how they have become ensnared into pursuing certain things rather than other things and how that has completely gone wrong on them. So it is a very important process. It is a process of taking stock, of understanding, a process of allowing yourself to see things in perspective and to become aware of your own world view, your own ideology, the things you believe in, the things you take for granted, and very importantly, the things that matter to you, the things that are worth your while living for. So that is about becoming aware of your life's purpose and your own ability to make the most of your life to really make it work for yourself, to make yourself into an engaged and passionate person who is prepared to suffer sometimes and prepared to be joyful sometimes. A person who is willing to live in the world in order to make something happen in it, to take action, to not just try to get away with stuff or hide from the world, but to engage in it and to be with other people in a real way, in an engaged way, and to be with yourself in a real way, allowing yourself to become clear to yourself, elucidating it, throwing light on what is you and what you are capable of and what you haven't done yet that you are able to do and are afraid to do. It is about finding the courage in your heart, the courage in the deepest part of yourself to tackle life in a new, more real, more deep, intense and really lived way. So all of those things happen in the process of consideration of what has gone wrong but it moves from what has gone wrong to what might go right. It constantly keeps that tension between the things that are difficult and the things that are important and worthwhile. The tension between the things you have done in the past and the things you may want to do in the future. The tension between your strength and your weaknesses tensions at so many different levels that we struggle with are possible to open up, to make use of, to really learn to work the differential between what is positive and negative, not try to have just positives, not getting caught up in the negatives and get stuck in them, paralyzed in them, 
terrified of them, but rather to be aware of how all of that interacts and how you can span across all of those polarities to find and wend your way around the obstacles. As long as you know where it is you want to go, and as long as somebody, when you lose track of your road, of the way you want to go, when you lose track of your purpose and of your goal, somebody who helps you remember what matters and gives you the insight and perspective, the depth of understanding that you need to find your strength again and to find how you can be in the world better than ever, more at ease, more able, more yourself, more capable of working with others in conjunction, in collaboration, in mutuality and in respect. And when you find that depth of relating to yourself, to others and to life itself, things just keep growing better, even when they're hard, even when life is difficult, at the deepest of despair, you will still know that you can and you will surmount this and you will transcend it and out of the hardship will come the learning and out of the learning will come the strength and out of the strength will come your progressing onwards in your life until you feel that it is a good life you're living and that you are actually doing rather well.